In my last video, I had just left the Alamogordo area in New Mexico and was heading over the San Agustin Pass towards Las Cruces. Well, I'm in Deming, New Mexico, and I think I got really good gas mileage, but I won't know until I finish pumping. 15.4 gallons over 231 miles was pretty good for towing. Well, that's it. In Deming, I took Highway 180 north about 20 miles until I reached Highway 61. In a few minutes, I was at the City of Rock State Park. Just past the entrance, you're guided towards the pay kiosk. Okay, lots of instructions. It says reservation required over there. Uh, it's got a scan code, but in this section, you can pay cash. And as I understand it, $10 a night camping, day use fees included. Sounds great. So stay here for uh, two nights, 20 bucks. Sounds like a deal. Got the permit and an envelope. Just got to stick it in the slot. Oh boy. There goes my money. Next in view is the visitor center that has gifts, displays, and most importantly, restrooms with hot showers. This rock gave me the thumbs up as I weaved through the boulders to reach my campsite. Is this the coolest camping site or what? Well, you know what they say, if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. And I can't take this site. It's reserved. And looking back, maybe that rock was actually giving me the finger because things got a little dicey after that. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. That was not fun. Two hours later, I think I have a campsite. I paid it an envelope, I selected a site. You can't do it that way. You gotta go online and guess what? Around here, there's hardly any signal. I went to the info center and nobody was there. However, this is not the ideal site. It's tilted and it's, uh, I've got to go through rocks to get out of here. But enough of that. I'm going to chill. I'm going to have a nice hot shower and hopefully I'm going to feel better about this place. Okay, let's try this again. The City of Rocks is a very unique landscape of sculptured volcanic formations that have eroded over millions of years. But the coolest part is that you can camp right amongst them. Ah. 
Ah, finally, three hours later and I can relax. I've had a shower and something to eat and I sorted out the whole reservation fiasco. And uh, I'm hoping I can talk to somebody tomorrow about the cash I put in the envelope. I mean, yeah, it was my mistake, but I just don't think it was clear enough. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. But it is a unique campsite. I mean, look at this. And I'm not even showing you the best place. Uh, I mean, way down there, those are the, uh, the RV sites where um, I think they have plugins. I think they have at least electricity and probably water. I haven't actually checked. I haven't really checked anything. You know, three hours later, I'm just taking a breather so that I can do a little bit of exploring before uh, it gets too dark. But the weather's nice. It's a sunny day. T-shirt weather again. Uh, it's going to be cold again tonight, though. But uh, I'm getting kind of used to that, you know, okay to, during the day and cold at night. Ah, but now, you know what, I just want to relax. And probably in a half an hour, I'll do some wandering around. I was fascinated at the technique this little bird used to find food. It would first kick the ground with its feet to loosen the soil. Hiking through the boulders was pretty easy, since any crevices between them had long filled up with sediment. It was like the pathways were intentionally formed for people to walk on them. Everywhere I looked, I saw shapes in the rocks, like Easter Island sentinels. Or that lizard monster from Star Trek. A monkey. An elephant. A coiled snake ready to strike. But this one, I'll leave that up to your imagination. And there is also real creatures watching me, as well as the imaginary ones. There's definitely some areas here worth exploring. It's a small area, but there's so many rocks and each one is unique, different. The pathways, the trees, the formations, the lighting. As the sun set, another world appeared.
At first glance, this was just another pinnacle on a rock. But a closer look revealed that famous night predator. The owl wasn't interested in me at all and returned to sight out a meal. The next morning found another feathered wonder picking in cracks for insects. Well, I've done the rock walk, but now I need a real hike. And looks like I'm a little overdressed. I am, except the sun is very intense. And every time I put on the, uh, the sunscreen, it fades off anyway, so I'm dressing for the occasion because I'm already burnt. The wind at the top was pretty fierce, but I was determined to see what the view looked like from that boulder. Enough of that, it was time to find some shelter out of that wind. Oh, here's a nice cool spot out of the sun. Sheltered, and it has a buffalo. Must mean something. 
beautiful old weathered tree. It's probably had it pretty tough up here. Well, it was a bit of a scramble, but I'm kind of used to that, spending so much time in the mountains. And I do have the proper hiking boots on, but you can still trip. So gotta be careful. Well, the clock says 12 after 12, which means it's lunchtime and I'm kind of hungry. So I get to play one of my favorite games, The Hunger Games. Hmm, what would I like for lunch? I think I'm gonna go for something traditional, at least in my sense, because I like one of my traditional meals is simply hash brown potatoes and veggie dogs. Got the veggie dogs, no problem, but uh, the hash browns is a bit of a problem. I do have potatoes, but I gotta chop them up, and then I gotta boil them a little bit, and then I gotta fry them up, and they tend to get greasy. They're not really like hash browns. And I don't usually buy bags of hash browns because they're supposed to be frozen. And uh, I don't use my the, the freezer setting on my cooler. I only use it as a cooler. But there's a third option, and you might be interested in this. Because when I was last into a Walmart, I went into the deli section, and I got a little bag of what? Potato wedges. They're already fried up and cooked. They just have to be reheated. But to make them into hash browns, just have to dice them up. Got the veggie dogs, got the skillet. Oh, and I found some uh, taco sauce as well. And a tomato, regular oil, good enough. I just wish I had some green onions. Oh well. Well, there it is, Slim's hash browns made with potato wedges, a little tomato, and veggie dogs. Mmm. A classic, but did need pepper as well. Time to share. Here we go. Open up wide. Like it, eh? With the sun now setting, I needed one more walk through the labyrinth of stone.
Another beautiful morning, and uh, it's my last one here at the City of Rocks. I'm gonna just finish my morning coffee, and I'm gonna head out in a little while. But it's time for me to kind of figure out what I think of the City of Rocks. What's my review? And uh, let me just give you a little background. It is near Deming, New Mexico. It's about 20 miles from Deming. Deming, of course, is on the I-10, so it's very accessible, very easy to get in here. You can get in here with any RV. However, the sites, the ones down there are for the big RVs. Uh, most of these areas in here are not for the big RVs. They're just for vans, cars, or small campers. And the site I have, as you can see, it's not very even. There's a lot that are, you know, you're tilted. So if you have an RV, you want to go down there. And those areas have the plug-ins, they have water. You do pay a little bit more, of course. These ones around the rocks are a uh, little less. Now, the official uh, amount is $10 a night. However, there's a catch to it you have to reserve these ones uh, and it there is a reserve america four dollar fee per day i'm not crazy about that but hey i wanted to get a reasonable site so i went through all that there are some first come first serve sites there's only about five so you know if it's peak season the chances of you getting those are kind of slim so it's probably better to reserve ahead of time so what do I think? Is it good value? Is it a good park? It's a wonderful park. You know, the scenery is unique. Um, you know, the rocks are just totally cool. There's lots of places where you get some shade. You can get full sun, like I'm getting full sun for, for my solar right now. Lots of really good walking trails. Um, some are easy. Uh, the one up the uh, mountain is a little bit more difficult. Wildlife. You know, I saw the owl, the, the cactuses, and the, the desert flora, I guess you'd call it. Well, we're seeing. So what do I think? I think for the $14 a night, it was pretty good value. I just wish I didn't have to go through that booking fiasco. So I'd have to give, you know, like a notch down for the booking. I hope they can improve on that. But 
As far as coming here and, uh, and, and the scenery and the hikes, top notch. Definitely recommend it. There's also lots of restrooms, drinking water, and free showers. So for me, City Rocks this is definitely worth a visit. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my others as well. I'm off for another adventure. Well, that was one city that really rocks, and I really appreciate the diversity in the land of enchantment, New Mexico. But another state lies ahead of me on my road to adventure, and I hope you'll continue to follow me. Got something.